Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm vlogging today. Tonight, I'm going to New York City to go out for a DJ that our friends really like, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. Anyway, I'm at the mall right now because I need to go get something to wear because I literally do not fit in anything that I own anymore. And yeah, I cannot show up tonight not feeling confident. I just, you know what I mean? Like, I have made it a point to myself that if I don't have anything to wear, like, that I'm gonna feel good in, I need to just go buy something that I'm gonna go feel good in. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be, like, something crazy. I really do need a good pair of jeans that, um, like, fit a certain way to wear with my shoes because I feel like I have, like, one pair of jeans. I have, like, two pairs of jeans. I have one pair of jeans for boots and I have one pair of jeans for sandals. And now I need a pair of jeans for like either or or sneakers or something like that. And I don't. So we need to go get those. And then I think I'm going to get like a cute casual shirt as well while I'm here. And then I also want to get K-18 because you can see we're blonder as you guys. You can see we're blonder and I want to make sure that my hair is staying healthy and hydrated and just being repaired and stuff because it's obviously going to break when you ble keep bleaching it. And I just want to make sure that my hair is going to keep growing. So let's go inside and try to find something for tonight. So I found these jeans and I was like, oh, these are kind of cute. And then I really didn't like them. The color is just a little bit off. They're like too light and then they were too tapered at the bottom. And yeah, I just couldn't figure it out. So then I went to Zara and I was like, let me look there. I found these really cute jeans. I loved the color. And then I love the fit of them as well, but like, look how long these are. I do not have time for them to get hemmed. And then I saw this top and I was like, mm, maybe I'll get this. And then I didn't get anything. I'm on my way home. I didn't find out, I didn't find any jeans at all. I tried on a couple different pieces and I just really didn't like them that much. I just don't like the fit of these jeans anymore. Like the, the cheap, more affordable jeans are just not good price is this even open is this gas this gas station's not even open okay um sorry i'm trying to get gas before i go back into the city but yeah they're just not cute they're either way too wide or okay i'm not going to this gas station because 310 is crazy 310 is crazy for gas anyway sorry um yeah they're either way too wide at the calf area or they're way too tapered in and they just do not look good. They do not look good. Like I hate myself for having such expensive taste, but I don't even try. Like it's not my fault. It's not my fault that these cheaper brands cannot make good products. Like it's just not my fault. Is this gas station for real? Like, is it open? Because I really want to get gas before I go, but this one doesn't look open. It doesn't look open. Is there gas here? Can you get gas here? Because I feel like $2.99 for gas is crazy. <gasps> no fucking way. No way. $2.99 for gas. Okay, we're gonna get ready now. Apparently I'm filming my entire vlog on my phone because I can't find my camera charger, so just bear with me. Honestly, this honestly the camera quality is really good, so I think it's fine. But I'm gonna do a slick back bun because every time I go to these parties, my hair just gets so frizzy and poofy and naughty and just disgusting and I just don't look good by the end of the party. So, <laughs> so my best friend is the slick back bun. I feel like it just stays look sleek. Plus I think it will look good with this outfit because this top is a little higher neck. And now we have the bun on. I'm gonna add some of this a little later, but I wanna get started on my makeup. Hopefully all of my makeup is in here because when I came back from Mexico, all of my makeup was literally taken out and scattered throughout the entire bag. So hopefully it's all in here and I still haven't opened my bag because we just got back last, like a week ago, not even. A week ago tomorrow, it will be. Anyway, usually I'm more excited to go to these things, but I feel like, I feel like I'm not really that excited. I feel like I've just been to so many parties <laughs> in the past, like, week or month or whatever or so, 
that this is just, it's not like exciting. Moisturizer is on. I got this Zio Skin Health Under Eye Cream that I've been using for my under eyes to help with the darkness because for some reason this winter, my, actually this year, my under eyes got insanely dark, like very purple. I looked like dead, but I don't know if that's just because I was really pale or if it was something else as well, but this cream actually works really well and I really like it. I got it from my aesthetic nurse. I just put my foundation all over. I feel like lately I've been not liking my makeup look. I feel like it just looks like I'm not wearing any makeup when I feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. I like to wear light type of makeup, but I feel like with age, it's starting to look a little too light. Like I need to go a little heavier, I think, because I don't know, the no makeup makeup look is, it's giving no makeup, like too much no makeup. And I wanna look like I'm wearing some makeup. Also never blend this down my neck, <laughs> which I definitely should do it. This is a little orange, I think. I mean, honestly, it, it matches my skin a lot better now than it did like a month ago because I got a little bit of a tan, but it was looking crazy before. Okay, now concealer. And now we're done. No, I'm just kidding. I feel like I need like a thicker foundation or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is that I want for my makeup that I want differently. But yeah, lately I've just been like looking back at my pictures and I'm like, are you even wearing makeup? Like you just did all of that and it doesn't even look like you're wearing anything. And I've tried little stuff like adding this brightening concealer in a couple places to like add more dimension to my face, but I feel like it doesn't do anything. I feel like it literally, it looks the same as when I don't use it. We're getting somewhere. Anyway, whenever I'm done getting ready, we're gonna head out and go to Patterson where we always go and get some really yummy food. So that's gonna be so fun. I literally love this food. Nothing gets me more excited than having good food. And the chai tea latte and stuff, oh, was so good. And I'm glad we're going early enough because I swear this food will literally put me to bed. And every time we go there, you guys see, we go on an entire like food tour. This time we're not, obviously, because we don't want to be in a food coma. We want to be feeling light while we're at the party and dancing, but I just, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to control myself. I don't know. And I need to remember to burn my cup because I got a reusable cup from the Kawa House place. You guys, I don't know if you, I don't know if I showed you guys or not. I think it was in a TikTok, but from the Kawa place, it has the best chai, lattes that I've ever tried in my entire life and we made them at home and they were so good so I'll make them again and I'll give you guys the recipe so that you guys can make them too because it's so freaking good like if you guys haven't tried Middle Eastern food, Palestinian food, any Yemeni food, all of the Middle Eastern foods you need to, you need to, it is so good. <laughs> of getting built and putting everything together and getting furniture and whatnot so it's very bare but we have our bed anyway this is the finished makeup look i have my outfit on i'm gonna put everything together so that i can show you guys the full fit then we're gonna head out yeah that's special i should order a couple of pieces more <laughs>
much for watching. I am so excited to be back and posting again. I really did miss you guys. And I do owe you guys a huge update because you guys are probably so confused. Like, what is this apartment that she's in? What is this background? And yeah, I feel like I have a lot to update you guys on, which will be coming soon. But I had just gotten back from vacation and like was doing a bunch of stuff. So I feel like I was kind of busy to really sit down and update you guys on everything but it is coming so if you have any specific questions that you want answered or you guys are just really curious definitely leave them down below so i can answer them in the upcoming vlogs but once again thank you guys so much for supporting and staying around because i know i've been very mia and yeah i'm just excited to be back anyway love you guys bye